Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. We have not got any justice. And I understand how the family feels in Florida. But there cannot be any peace in this time. And what I mean by that, that don't mean that you have to go out and be violent. But use your voice. Because it was something that Dr. King said. He said, when we remain silent to the things that matter, our lives begin to end. And see, this is something that matters. And we have not been silent. And we must not remain silent. We must remain to have a voice, to be a choice in this country that we were born and bred in. We know who we are. We fought for this country and all of its liberties and all the things that it stands for, more than ever. It's not about black or white or any other color. It's about the human race. Yeah, it's yeah, about the credence of who we are. Yeah. And what we must come together for. And especially when it comes to justice. Because if we don't get justice, then we don't have freedom. We don't have no peace. No justice, no peace. We have nothing but despair. Yeah. Trying to get to the stone of hope. And that's where we're at today. So I encourage everybody to continue to keep that fire inside of your belly. To keep your heart. In this, this direction, this direction that's key towards bending justice to the right place. It's going to take a minute, but I always tell everybody, it's a small grip that makes a big puddle in anything that you do. And today, we started a small grip here in the city of Sacramento. And in this grip, we're going to create a puddle throughout the city. And not just this city, because this is the heart of California. And we're going to spread this love all around California. It's and we're gonna... Yeah, Janae. Okay, so the word is that this was a call for a peaceful candlelight vigil only. Okay, I'm uh, with them. I've been videotaping. Uh, Brother Carter has been leading the group. Uh, I have posted in my Facebook check-ins and gave the group credit for calling for no violence. They are now marching back to the federal building. I'd say there's probably 50 or 60 here. Uh, Fox News is here. Uh, Channel 3 just woke up and decided to come. They're here and they've got a, a mini cam out following them. So, so far, so good. Like I said, the only issue, and it's always the same one, is what happens if the idiots show up. Right. So um, I'm giving. Driving this program with those that you see before us, from uh, the PD being represented through uh, the chief by Lieutenant Marietta, Lieutenant Ellis, uh, Michael Benjamin, young, bright mind, working great, uh, doing great works out at Job Corps, uh, Kevin Carter, community activist, uh, Jim Schiebel. Uh, SAC High Principal, Terry Johnson, numerous uh, accolades, and then the faith-based community represented by Pastor Morris and myself. We're live at Arden Fair Mall, Simney Chill and News 10. What is the reaction of the shoppers, Simney, as they go in and out of the mall? Are they passing by protesters? And it's interesting because in the last hour or so, as we've seen the protesters move around, we've seen the tone of the shoppers change as well. As the protesters have gotten a little bit louder, as night has fallen, uh, we've seen more angry shoppers leaving, um, families with young children. I heard one of the kids asking their parents earlier today, why are those people yelling? Why are they so angry? And uh, the father father choosing not to say anything but just ushering them into their cars the father choosing not to say anything the father choosing not to say anything but just ushering them into their cars the father choosing not to say anything but just ushering them into their cars